Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial video for Rebellion Roleplay for our new inventory HUD and our HUD system. It is all pretty straightforward, so hopefully it's quite easy to follow. So as you can see, my HUD at the moment is in the middle of the screen. I just place it there so you guys can see it. You do T slash HUD. And that brings up this little menu. So you could turn all these on and off if you want. You can have your job display off, money display. I know some people don't like having the money on. Uh, hunger and thirst, if you want to turn that off. I don't know why you would, but if you want to, you can do. And this one we don't use at the moment. So it brings up a little, a little bar up here. You want to turn that off. You can basically position these anywhere you want on the screen. You can have them a little bit off the screen. So they're a bit like this. You can have it in line, down at the bottom, up at the left, wherever the hell you want. So I always try and go a little bit kind of up top out of the way. I find it's a little bit near. And you can just basically move them anywhere you want. Which I think is pretty cool. You can have them down here. We'll try them down there. Eh? I don't know. Whatever you think. Health. Food and water. There we go. You can also move your swimming one as well, but I mean, I think it's pretty neat and tidy. I think it's normal position is the bottom right corner. You can also change the color of these little icons. So you can have it whatever color you want. If you select a color from this left hand side menu, you then have to click on the color for it to apply. If you just click there and click choose, it's there, but it won't change them. So then you have to do P slash HUD, click on it again, go to the colour you want, and choose. And then make sure you click the little tick afterwards. Happy days. Then if you jump in a vehicle of your choice, we are going to focus on the car hood. This is a little bit more complicated, but it's still pretty much straightforward. Um, one of the most important things you need to do with the car hood is you need to set a new key bind. So to do that, we're going to press escape on his keyboard. We're going to go to our settings. We are then going to go to key bindings. Press enter to access that. You are then going to go to 5M. And it says here, open the car hood settings. You want to put that on forward slash. So double click on it. Press slash. And as you can see, it's popped up at the left. We don't need it just yet. But... That is saved then. So all you need to do is press escape again. Keep pressing escape to your back on the main bit. So then when you jump in a car, jump in your car or bike of choice, press your slash button and all this pops up. It is pretty cool. You can basically move any of these or turn any of these off. You can have that up there, over there, over there. Literally, you can do whatever you want to do with them. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this little bit first. We're going to come back to gauges, don't worry. But I'm going to do dashboard first. For me, I want to know if my engine's going to break down, my seatbelt and my fuel. I'm not really bothered about my lights. So I'm going to turn them off, click apply. They're going to go to there, and I'm going to put them down at the bottom left. You can also change the engine alert percentage. So at the moment... It's set to 10%. So if your engine gets less than 10%, this little engine light will start flashing. Same with the fuel alert. I'm I'm fairly happy leaving them at 10% and 20%. I think that's pretty decent. If, it, if you've got 20% of fuel, you've got enough to get to a petrol station. If you go to up here, if you go to street and compass, I turn all these off. So I, I don't want to see the street. So turn the street off. Turn the compass off. Turn all them off, click apply, and all that will vanish. So for me, that's perfect. I don't need to see all that. Now, let's have a look at gauges. So you can set it to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. As stock, we have it set to miles per hour. Anyway, that's what we're using to say. So you're probably best leaving it to that. Um, then same again. You can... Turn the fuel off, speed off, RPM off, whatever you want. So obviously you're going to have your fuel icon anyway. Um, if you want to 
turn your fuel off, you click that, and then you've got to make sure you click apply. So turn your fuel back on. You can also change the fuel color. So we might want it. I'm going to have it blue. Click apply. It'll turn to blue. I quite like my icons down at the bottom right. You can position them however the hell you want them. You can also change the low speed and the high speed settings. This is pretty cool. So at the moment it's set to the yellow and whatever color this is. Um, same with the RPM, white and red. So if I just drive a quick second, click save, turn my engine on. So you'll see in a minute when I drive, it will change color. So you can see the uh, rev counter. It's going from white to red and the yellow starting to change as well to the bit more of a burgundy color. So if we go back down again. You can see it's starting to change a little bit. It's getting a little bit darker. So, engine off so we can't hear the noise. Press my slash button. So you can change them to whatever you want. You could have it starting at blue, uh, finishing at red. Uh, you might want the low rev at black, up to green. You can literally have it whatever you want. You click apply. Let's try that again. Click save. Engine. And now you see it's changed. Black to green on the revs. And you can see the blue starting to change colour as well. You can also change the size of everything so you might want the fuel to be bigger you might always run out of fuel you might want the speed to be bigger you might want the rpm to be smaller maybe that's a little bit small but maybe there click apply and then we are going to be able to move them wherever we want so we might want that there rev counter a bit more over maybe a rev counter there Maybe you want the fuel on the inside, or you can have it on the outside, or you can have it over here, whatever the hell you want. It's really, really good. So we'll have it like that. Once we've got it like that, and we're happy with everything, we'll then click save. Happy days. We have now got our new car hood installed on how we want it. One thing we're going to look at next is the new inventory system. It's a pretty cool inventory system. It's the same key to open your inventory as normal. It's your F2. Um, and it comes up like this. So all you've got to do is click on something and you can drop it. You can give money to local players nearby. You can set things to hotbars. So with your guns, you might want to put drag your gun to number one. Drag your nightstick to number two, ghost to number three, morphine, and my taser. Happy days. So if I press my escape bar, escape button, press my number one key, pulls my gun out, press my number one key again, it puts it away. Press my number four key, I've got a hot key to my morphine. Press my number five key, we've got my taser out. Press number three, it brings my ghost. It's as simple as that. It's a really, really, really good system. You jump in your car. If you press F2 while she's sat in your car, you can then put money over. Or guns or whatever you want. Let's just drag it over. All um, in my trunk. You can see how much room it's taken up at the top. Happy days. We've got it nice and stored in our glove compartment. There's me realising that the other car didn't have a trunk, as it is a racing car, obviously. If you go to the back of your car and press F5, it's basically the same as, as your glove box. You can drag everything over, whatever you want, and it tells you how much room it's taken. That would be 200 kilograms. 
Oh, it's available in this car. Same again with this car. Obviously, just press F2 once you're in the car, you've got your glove box. And I think that is about it. But obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to hit any admin up and they will talk you through the HUD system, the inventory system, and the car HUD system. Thanks for watching, guys. It's much appreciated.